33-year-old Nilzuli Arnaud Petit was on his way back from a party. Two months after a Texas man was kidnapped and killed, three suspected members of a Venezuelan street gang were just arrested. A fourth suspect remains at large. The gang trained a Aragua, making headlines for months, linked to this police beating in New York City. An apartment complex takeover in Aurora, Colorado. Many members arrested earlier this month in San Antonio. That's what makes TDA more, bear, uh, more shockingly uh, terrifying. And it makes it harder for law enforcement because they are so organized right out of the gate. We're playing catch up already. Vice President Kamala Harris vowing to crack down on illegal border crossers. Those who cross our borders unlawfully will be apprehended and removed and barred from re-entering for five years. Former President Donald Trump making migrant crime a centerpiece of his campaign. They got together in prison, the worst prison in the world, they say. It's called Trende Aragua. And that is taking over apartment complexes and unleashing a violent killing spree all over America. He and others have pointed a finger at the parole program, which allows migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela to apply using a mobile app and be allowed into the country, but with mounting concerns about their ability to be vetted. The Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General investigating asylum seeker vetting in a June report, concluding CBP is unable to conduct complete screening and vetting of all non-citizen travelers at air and land ports of entry. According to the Department of Homeland Security, all individuals confirmed or suspected to be gang members are referred for criminal prosecution or detained and placed into expedited removal. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell for the National News Desk.